What is up my sexy subscribers? Before I get into this video, I'm going to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button really fast because I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers where I actually send this mask that I finished. It's lit too. I have, that's in the next video. Um, I'm going to be sending it to one of my subscribers in the first 1,000. I'm going to randomly go through and pick one. So make sure you're subscribed and you've also liked my Facebook page. I'm going to check both of those. But if you've done both of that, you, one of the winners is going to get this sent to them at no cost. Um, in this video, I'm actually taking out the foam from the last uh, previous video I uploaded, and I'm going to be putting in a, a hard hat helmet, the strap on there. That's a lot easier to use. And the video after this one, it's going to be linked. It's actually how to light the mask, too. All right, to start this video off, we're going to be going over the same basic supplies list as we talked about in the last video. So the only new supplies are going to be the hard hat minus the foam um, and some Bondo. It's basically a plastic sealer. So same steps as last time. I found some new buckets at Walmart this time. They're $3 for one bucket and then they have the stickers so you don't have to deal with any of the, the stamp down stuff. And just cutting them out here is the same as last video. You can use last video as a reference. All these templates can be found on my Facebook. Uh, measurements, I made them a little more clear this time. They can be adjusted to your head. That 10.5 inches or 26.5 centimeters can be really to your head. Uh, with this with this eye, I just copied one of them. I didn't uh, print out two. I just uh, printed out one and then flipped it over. The mouth can be a little tricky at the bottom. It's about 3 fourths inches or 2 centimeters from the bottom where you're going to cut with the saw, which is right above the masking tape. But you can really adjust it to see how you like it. Um, I, I moved it a little around a little bit just to fit my face. Uh, here's the router tool I was talking about, uh, the Dremel tool. So basically, you're going to need the Dremel tool. It's about $20, but the Dremel tool is going to make this project. Uh, it's going to make this project help. So if you don't have a saw like this, you can use your Dremel to cut it, and then you can sand it. That works also. That's what I did for one of the masks just to see if it would work, and it worked good. It just you need to do more some some more sanding. Uh, so basically with the Dremel tool now I put a sanding attachment on here. So I'm sanding away the edges, which which is like two tools for one. So you don't need to really get in there with sandpaper like I'm doing right now. I just did that for the final stuff. So I put the, the Dremel attachment back on that. I uh, can cut the plastic and I cut the little plastic rim off at the top right here. I didn't show this in the last video. I showed me sanding, but I cut it this time and sanded it down. Uh, what you previously just saw was the wire mesh, or the, uh, yeah, the like the window mesh I bought, and I'm just sizing it right now. I cut a little piece. It was uh, $10 for a huge roll of it. I don't know how many you can make with it. This is a see-through fabric, so I did one layer of mesh and one layer of fabric. This is the helmet I'm working on right now, so it's 2 and 3 fourth inches from the bottom, or 7 centimeters. And I'm taking that Dremel tool and I'm cutting around. You're not going to have this saw tool probably. You can just use the Dremel to cut around. Uh, I just wanted to experiment with some new tools to see if they'd work since I this is basically a very similar tutorial without the without the hard hat. So I'm using the Dremel to cut off the front otherwise it will not fit in the bucket correctly so you need to kind of make it an oval shape. The hard hat fits almost perfectly in the bucket when you cut it. Uh, I'm just sanding it to make it smoother. This doesn't have to be great because people aren't really going to see this and that's with the, the head attachment on so I'm putting it on my head just to show you that it it stays on kind of like the other mask without the foam. This one's a lot easier to breathe with. Here's the Bondo I was talking about. So basically you mix these two together and you mix them together and it makes a really strong plastic uh, sealant. So I did a layer of this. So I, I put the plastic sealant all around the edge. I lined it up properly so the middle piece was in the middle and I glued it in there. And I added a little more Bondo to glue around the edges in there. And then once that was in, I took a hot glue gun as you can see right here and hot glued it on the inside just to give it a little more security within like five minutes you can still like move it around a tiny bit so say if you if you're off a of snudge you can move it and then here's the final with the helmet attached to it um, it doesn't doesn't fall out doesn't stay and there's a little clippy piece in there or there's a clippy piece on the back of the hard hat where you can adjust it to your size so it's not really a one size fit all for the foam Alright guys, thank you for being with me and making up to 450 subscribers. I'm honestly surprised. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm so thankful and I'm glad I can do this and glad so many of you guys are loving my videos. 
Uh, I, in the near future, I am coming out with a lot more videos. I have a couple more light tutorials and a couple more mask tutorials. I have one that I'm uploading very shortly, actually, which is the one video to the left that I have done. But if you guys have not already, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. It helps me more than you know it. And I love doing this. Thank you.